In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Assets tool, which is a new part of our indoor map designer, to place and manage items of furniture inside an indoor map. Assets are anything that isn't a fixed part of the building, like a wall, doorway or window, that can only be changed by creating a new version of your indoor map. Assets are typically items of furniture, such as desks and tables, that you might want to move around more frequently. The only prerequisite to this tutorial is having an indoor map created in your account. For this demo, we're going to use a map of Westport House in Dundee, which is where the world offices are located. We're going to start by selecting and entering our indoor map. If you've used the indoor map designer before, you'll see that we've moved things around a little to make it easier to use, as well as adding the asset tool. Once we're inside our indoor map, you'll see that the assets tool becomes available on the left. We're going to be adding assets to the world offices on the second floor. The first step in the process is to import some assets by clicking on the import assets button in the asset tool. We can import assets either from our own GeoJSON file format or by extracting them from a CAD file. There's a tutorial and example file for both of these linked in the import wizard here. I've created a file earlier which contains some desks, tables and wall mounted screens. We'll soon be adding functionality that allows you to add assets directly using the tool. But for now, the import wizard is great if you've got lots of assets to manage. Simply drag the file into the window to start the import process. When we click continue, our assets will be read from the file and we're now ready to assign a 3D model to each of them to represent them in our map. It's possible to specify which 3D model to use in the GeoJSON file itself, like the ones here on the left, which have been assigned models from our desks, electronics, or kitchen categories. One of the assets in the file called the microwave does not have a 3D model assigned to it. So we're gonna do that now by picking an appropriate model from the list of 3D models on the right. So if we go into the kitchen model section, we'll find a model of a white microwave and all we need to do is click on that and it's assigned to the asset that we called microwave. Once all the assets are assigned a 3D model, we can click confirm to complete the import process. Assets are organized into asset sets, which are sorted by floor to make them easier to manage. As you can see, the set that we've just imported appears in the list on the left and we can see all the assets in that set listed in the assets window uh, in the middle of our screen here. We can select and rename our set to give it a more memorable name in case we create further sets in the future and want to be able to tell them apart. Let's have a look at some of the assets that we've imported. We can see uh, a number of desks positioned around the office tables at the window, a reception desk, and the wall-mounted flat screen TVs. If we switch to the 2D view, we can see also some furniture in the meeting rooms and in the kitchen. We can edit the assets that we've imported by selecting them just by clicking on them. Once an asset selected, we can use uh, the gizmo, for example, here, the move gizmo, just to click and drag and move it around. We also have a rotation gizmo and an elevation gizmo. This is particularly helpful for wall mounted items or for uh, appliances that you want to place on top of another piece of furniture. For fine grained control, it's also possible to edit the angle and the elevation directly in the properties panel like so. The top down 2D view can also be very helpful for moving assets and positioning them very precisely. It's also possible to multiple select assets by shift clicking and then they can be moved around as a group. Once we have all the assets positioned, we can publish them to make them visible to users of our app. Simply select the set we want to publish and click the Publish Assets button on the left. This creates a new set called the Published Set, 
which is read-only and is now visible to all users who have access to our indoor map in their world app. If we want to make further edits to our assets, we can just select an editable set, make any edits we want, for example, rotating uh, some items of furniture or moving them around. And when we're happy, all we need to do is to click publish again, and that will overwrite the currently published set. If we want to save a copy of our set, we can download a GeoJSON file containing all of the asset data using the export assets button. This downloads a file to our local machine, which is very handy if we want to make bulk edits, such as renaming assets, where we can export, edit the file, and then import again. Finally, if we want to get rid of our assets, we can either delete individual assets by clicking the bin icon in the assets list, or we can delete the entire set by clicking on the delete set button. It's also possible to remove the published set by clicking unpublished set, which will remove all of the assets from that level in our live indoor map. So I've now shown you all the main features of the asset tool. We hope you find it's a useful and powerful addition to world indoor maps. We're still working on it. So if you've got suggestions for ways in which you think it could be improved, please do let us know.